guys, how's it going? Today, I'll be making a Vegemite sandwich. And here is the result. Here is Vegemite. The, the one and only great, fantastic Vegemite that everybody enjoys and have here in Australia. It's an iconic spread that you can put on almost anything. Got some bread. You get, literally, you can get white bread or wholemeal, any type of thing. Firstly of all, we get a knife from the multiple amount of knives that we've got right here. And look at how much cutlery I've got. <laughs> you then get the knife. Butter. Oh, you can add butter if you want, or you don't have to. It's totally up to do, up to you, pardon me. I can't even speak at the current moment. So it's up to you how much you want to have. You can have two slices of bread or four. Once we've got our slices of bread, you get your Vegemite. You get scared a bit of, well, is that the same stuff as Marmite? Yeah, it's like this black stuff right here, but I don't recommend having it like having it one go. You will need to put stuff on it like Vegemite and butter and cheese on it. It tastes really good with a good other mixture of stuff. It's going to be pretty funny, but I'm going to spread it with one hand <laughs> if I can do it properly. So let me just fill it on this bread so I just spread it like that, as you can see. It has like a salty, tangy taste towards it. So as you can see here, uh, this is actually really funny guys because I'm doing it with one hand and it's... So as you can see, I've uh, bestly put the spread on it as much as I can. Well, um, it's depending on what people like. I mean, like some people like different types of taste. I've just spread one and now spreading the other one. And then I'll show you quickly what they both look like on bread. So there we go. We've just made two onto the bread right about now. Cheesy might actually we did actually release one a couple of years ago and they did put like cheese into the Vegemite into the actual spread You can get them in the stores. I'm gonna get the cheese now. So we're gonna get some cheese onto this You got me? Yes, we do. So usually at times I like to get the vegan cheese. This is good So basically, oh, okay. The bad side we've only got one slice of cheese, but that's okay One will be cheese and Vegemite. The other one will be just be Vegemite. We'll just pop that onto there like that so, unfortunately guys, that's um, the result of that one, unfortunately, if I had another slice of cheese. But this is good enough, we can go with one with one with it and one without it. So there we go. Now the butter that everyone has mentioned to me, I will get that currently now. Olive oil spread. We'll go with olive oil spread, close enough. So we pop on the spread we've got here and we put it into that. I'll just butter that now and I'll show you what I've done after that. Just nice and quick and easy onto the other spread of bread. You can get Marmite too as everyone has mentioned. Um, it's like a Vegemite but it's a different uh, name towards it. So I've put the butter onto here so I'm going to flip the camera now. This is the best part guys now that we've spread it our, um, a, a, a butter, or a, a little a margarine, sorry. We've got the margarine, we've got the cheese, the Vegemite, the Vegemite with cheese and Vegemite without cheese. We just basically pop it on there, properly, there we go, properly back onto this one also, and voila, we've just discovered, um, we've just made sandwiches. So you basically, you can have it on lunchtime, you can have it any time of the day. So we're just gonna get a plate, we're just going to get a very beautiful flowery plate for um, great advertisement right here. This is great advertisement of a plate. Then basically we put uh, on, onto the uh, plate here. Now I'll get to show you the experience of what Vegemite tastes. This is the first one. This has got the one with cheese on it. Here we go. This is the verdict. Mmm, mmm. It's very, very, like I said, salty and tangy, but with that butter on there, very good. I need a drink. Mario, that's correct. You know, you can have this with any type of drink you want. You can have it with, um, depending on what the texture and taste you guys want, because sometimes you might want something with, with Vegemite that will be nice and soothing for you. And when I'm tasting the textures now, you can taste the inner side of the salt, the tanginess. And a texture of everything but um as you can see it's just it's just it's just a bundle and a joy tangy but you definitely need to try it out there you go guys that's the um sandwiches here it's 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 beautiful you can have it 
uh, during the day. You can have it while you're at work, after work, when you have your break, maybe when you come home. So we've just tried the one with cheese. This is the one without cheese, with just the butter and the Vegemite. It's very crisp. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Mm. It has a unique taste to it. When you when you eat it, 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 it just feels like you're there. If you know what I mean, if it feels like you're there, you're there. And um, when I'm there, it, it's, it's no going back from this forward. And as I'm getting the texture of it, it's like, wow. It's incredible. You can have it 24 hours of the day if you wanted to, even at night time. If you're peeling peckish, make sure to get your Vegemite here today. The key is don't have it too much. If you have too much Vegemite, it will make it a bit overly sick. That's why you gotta have it every now and again. So you put it into a container, down into there. I've seen people actually doing a, quite a bit of things with Vegemite. You can, as you saw, as the cardo is quite nice with it. If you feel stomach sick, teaspoon or my might make you throw Vegemite. <laughs> oh yes, it will, it will. And um, as you can see, it's just the delicacy of the bread and the, and the spread. You put it together and it's great. I'll read out the ingredients right now. Yeast extract from yeast grown on barley and wheat. Salt, mineral salt, 580 grams. Malt extract from barley. Color, 150C, whatever that means. Uh, flavor, Narkin uh, Thurman. Thurman, I hope I've pronounced that right. T-H-I-A-M-I-N-E. At least I think it's very close together. Um, riboflavin folate. Algerian statement contains barley and wheat. Mindeliz. And the rest is just um adv advertising. All these unusual ingredients that you don't really actually hear. Basically, let me show you the inside of the in the sandwich. As you can see, butter and Vegemite really goes well, but you can add it with cheese and other stuff too. This is the go. Let me get the logo. This is the go. This is the this is top notch stuff. I'm telling you right now. But if you um feel free to tell other people about it too if you want to. I mean, guarantee you they will they will get an understanding of what it's like to have the texture and understanding of the Vegemite. I'm gonna go and enjoy these sandwiches, guys, and I'll tell you how I go in eating the rest of these. I will take care now, guys. Get your Vegemite today. Only in stores, as what the commercials would say on the day. Hello guys, welcome! And today, as you saw on the title, I am going to be trying uh, Choc Banana Tim Tams for the first time. Now, I know a lot of people have had these uh, Tim Tams before, so I haven't tried them before, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they taste like. I know they're just going to taste like banana with like chocolate in it, but it might have a different uh, texture and taste to them. I'm just gonna open it up. There it is right there, Tim Tam Choc Banana. I saw them a while ago at Coles, and I really wanted to give them a try, so I thought I might give a, do a bit of a taste test. This a go, and I'll let you guys know right now what I, what I think of them. So it's just your average Tim Tam, but it's got coated of banana, so we're gonna try this for the first time. Here we go, guys. Hello, people who are joining in. This is what I'm trying. Okay, here we go. This is a Tim Tam. That's what's inside. Like a banana taste. So the taste of it, guys, I'll give you the verdict now. It's an interesting taste. Has a lot like banana. It's an interesting one. But I like you said and everyone else says, I don't really like the banana flavor that much. That's it right there. It's Tim Tams. It's from Arnott's. It's a very old brand from Arnott's. Let me just show you. Uh, what the packet looks like. I just tried one. I don't know if I will try it again guys I don't know. It's not really my sort of cup of tea. I might give it to dad But this is an unusual one because I did see it and I thought I might react to it Lucky I had a pillowcase here guys all the chocolate on the pillow. Yeah, you know what they are large 
And as you can see there, that's what the uh, size is. So they're about that big and about that wide. Do a Tim Tam Slam. <laughs> Tim Tam Slam. Whoa, in the shot. Whoosh. <laughs> Let me read out what we got here on the packet. A delicious combination of crunchy biscuits and bana banana. Flavoured cream covered in milk chocolate. Back to the rating, guys. I would give this Tim Tam Choc Banana... I'm going to give it maybe a 5 or a 4. But I'll probably have to give it out of the two numbers. Maybe 5. Only because the chocolate part was the best bit, but the banana sort of got it out of proportion. Uh, interesting taste. If you guys do, if you guys want to give it a try yourself, feel free to. Um, if you like it, I highly recommend it for people who do like banana flavoured stuff. And, um, it's basically, a, you can get it at any supermarket, uh, unless if it's not in your area as yet, you might have to wait or so, might be able to, um, ship it somehow. Or, the, well, if you look up on the, uh, Tim Tam website anyways. It's, um, the banana inside of it, it didn't taste really, um, really well. But, like I said, for people who do like to have these banana flavoured stuff, I highly re recommend it to those people. But um, if you don't want to try this, then don't buy it if you don't want to. But if you ever want to um, give it a try yourself, you're more than welcome to. But I give it a 50-50. Um, just because um, the banana sort of... I think the banana took more of the flavour than the chocolate itself. Tim Tams are the Aussie thing. Can't really get them anywhere else. Yeah, that's so true. You know why? If you notice up here... This is an Arnott's brand. The Arnott's has been around for such a long, long time. Arnott's, interesting fact, um, that my mum actually does like a lot of craft stuff and she actually kept this paper tiling uh, Arnott's thing. She's finished it, but she has to frame it and I'm not sure where she's put it. It's somewhere around the house. You sound like a commercial. I know, try your Tim Tams today. Thank you for popping on and giving me all your fabulous ideas and uh, comments about this. If you like banana flavoured stuff, this would be the perfect one for you. It tastes a lot more of banana than it does of milk chocolate. I will say that right now. Um, so if you ever feel like you want to get some, it's up to you. So I gave it a 5 out of 10 rating. And I'm hoping to uh, catch everybody uh, soon. Alright guys, take care. Thank you for watching me reacting to Tim Tam Choc Banana. And I will see you on another Modern Motoscopes. Take care. Hey guys, thanks for so much for watching episode 3. You can check out episode 2 by clicking here. Stay tuned for episode 4 as episode 4 is coming soon. Thanks for so much for supporting the show guys. It means so much to me. Feel free to watch my other videos and stay tuned. Grand out.